hello my listeners what i just saw this morning is as funny as it is appalling and i saw a post on my estate platform that there is a simulina that has rubber in it this is the second batch first batch you got ban the first batch rate you got ban the first batch rate only 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 rubber 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 What you have seen as rubber in a semolina is a normal process. Let us explain what that thing in that video means. What it means is that when it comes in contact with water, a lot of things happen depending on the circumstances. So when it absorbs water, the weed actually has this huge ability to absorb water especially when it's in the form of whole wheat or flour and it is the flour we see in semolina so the water is absorbed into the wheat which makes it to swell and get softer so when the water gets in some enzymes get activated so these enzymes are naturally present in wheat and that is even the more reason why they are used for the things they are being used for so when these enzymes are activated there are processes of biochemical reactions that break down the complex carbohydrates and make them into simpler sugars the proteins are broken down into amino acids and the fats are broken down into fatty acid this process is very important especially when you are using the wheat for bread making because it contributes to the process of fermentation, which is what gives the bread its flavor. So this process gives the bread flavor, the enzyme breaking down the, the food components into their simplest forms. This comes to the point where you will be interested in. There is a protein content in wheat, which is known as gluten. So when water is added to wheat flour, the gluten proteins in the flour they form a network through hydration and mechanical mixing. So it is the gluten that gives dough its elasticity and structure. And that is the only thing that makes it possible for the dough to be able to trap carbon dioxide, which the fermentation in the process in the previous process produces. So that carbon dioxide is trapped in the wheat and then it forms the bread. The carbon dioxide produced during the previous process, during fermentation, results in rising of the bread when it is trapped by the protein, by that gluten. And then the starch can gelatinize. When water comes into contents, it will starch content in the wheat, it will undergo a process known as gelatinization. So this gelatinization is a process in which starch granules absorb water, they swell, and then they release starch molecules, which now results in the thickening or producing production of gel-like consistency. So this gel-like consistency is the most important factor in cooking with base products like the semolina we are eating, like pudding and porridges. My listeners, this is exactly what happens when you put water in wheat. Starting from the uh, enzyme activation, down to the breakdown of nutrients then the formation of the gluten and then the starch gelatinization these three processes are important for the reasons why wheat are made in the first place semolina is not an exception so overall the interaction between wheat and water can lead to various processes which entails the absorption of water enzyme activation, gluten formation, starch gelatinization, and even spoilage risk. So depending on the specific context and purpose you are using wheat for, these are the things that would actually arise. So it is normal. If you have been eating any other product made from wheat, you have been eating rubber in quotes. It is not rubber, it is called gluten. Thank you so much. At this point, I need you to subscribe to this channel so we keep breaking the jinx in food.